Thomas Robertson, and my wife is Anita Robertson. The name of our farm is Botanical Bites and Provisions. We started this farm uh, before we left the military and it became a growing industry for us. We had invested time and energy in attending um, new and beginning farmer courses. So we knew what we were up against. Uh, we had made connections with other farmers. And we use the drones in, in our facility now. The drones can show us that there may be a problem in one specific area. So now we don't have to go out and do the whole perusing of the fields. We can go out and address that one area. I grew up on a farm and it was a 20, about a 30 acre farm in Amherst County, Virginia. And after I turned 17, I decided I am never, ever, ever gonna farm again. And I joined the military thinking that this would be the last time that I would ever see a farm. I happen to be a fourth generation farmer. I can trace back to the 1800s my uh, great-grandfather, who lived in the Lake Anna region, was a farmer. When I was farming as a, as a young man at 15, 16, 17 years old, things were really different. And we farmed uh, uh, using very, very old techniques. And we didn't have a tractor, we had a horse. But now we have tractors, we have farm implements. Right now we use everything from uh, solar energy, we used advanced irrigation techniques. And as you can see, it's not spraying the water, it's just dripping it, just one drop at a time. And by not spraying it, that means that we're not creating dust and dirt flying up and getting into the plants, which can usually cause problems after you eat it. I think that the uh, drones and other technology, they take nothing away from the human side of farming. I think it adds to it because it frees up your time, your labor to do more and better things on your farm. My great-grandfather would be proud of our use of the embracing the new technologies um, because they couldn't afford that type of technology back then. Um, even if it was present. I also think that he would be proud of us for just continuing the tradition of farming.